guys, all right, so to actually set up some atmospheric fog like this, it's really simple. You can do this using either the Octane Daylight or an actual HDRI environment. And then my live viewer settings over here, I'm using the GI Ambient Occlusion with direct lighting. Now you will get some different results if you put that on GI Diffuse, but I felt that I got the best results, especially when using fog volumes with the GI Ambient Occlusion. Okay, so for my scene, I'm using an HDRI environment. If I scroll down here and I actually click on this icon over here, it takes me to the environment tag. If I go to main, you can see over here I've loaded an image texture, which is an HDRI from DOSH, which is basically a sun setting uh, HDRI, which I thought, I thought looked really nice and it worked really well with the scene I was creating over here. Right, so I'm going to be using an HRI, but the most important thing, if I click back on this icon, is this tab over here, the medium tab, because this is the tab you're going to be using to actually set up our fog in our scene, and I'll show you how to do that uh, really shortly. Shortly, It's super easy to do. We're going to be playing around with a couple of sliders, so without further ado, let's get started. First of all, I want to give credit to In Life Thrills. He's actually the guy that got me started with Fog in Octane Render and understanding how it actually works. But I'm not going to be going over any technical terminology or explaining in depth how this stuff works. I have linked his documentation below. So if you guys want to actually understand what these sliders are really doing, go ahead and check that out. I just want to jump straight into it and get Fog into your scenes. Okay, so like I was saying, here's the medium tab. Click on this arrow and we want to load in a scattering medium, okay? And by default, we've also got a thickness slide over here. This should be on 10. I'll, I'll explain just now why my amount has been increased so much. But uh, okay, go ahead, create a scattering medium. Click on this and go into the scattering medium. Now over here, you'll see that we have a density slider and this density slider is going to really come in handy. If I actually click on uh, this image to render, if I decrease this amount right now, you'll see that it's pushing this fog further out. And if I increase this amount, it's basically pushing it to the foreground. So towards my DOV. And now you can see that it looks like there's some really, really thick fog in the scene. So this is basically controlling the overall uh, distance of our fog in our scene. Okay, so we have the absorption and the scattering tags, which are gonna work in conjunction with each other to create fog, because that's gonna determine uh, how it absorbs and scatters the lighting in our scene. Okay, so you want to go ahead and actually load a flow texture over here for our absorption and put that value on zero. Okay, and then you want to load a flow texture for the scattering as well. Put that on 0 0.1 and you are good to go. But you, if you click on render, your scene probably looks like this, right? It's probably completely black and that's because you can see my invert absorption was unticked. So go ahead, untick that and you guys are officially going to have fog in your scene. Now, if you guys are still not seeing uh, fog that's noticeable, they're noticeable in your scene, it's because of this thickness slider. So by, like I said, by default, this is on 10, all right? So if I bring mine all the way back to 10, you're gonna see that uh, there is some, some fog in my scene, but it's very subtle. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and actually increase this amount to make your fog a lot thicker. Now this is, also, the thickness of your fog is going to be determined by the overall size of your scene. So again, play around with the slider, adjust it, increase it uh, to a value that you feel you are happy with until you get a certain amount of fog in your scene uh, that you want to be either thick or maybe really subtle. So you can see over here, for me, a value like around 133, 158 worked well for me. And another thing to mention, in the medium tag, uh, the density slider, if we usually put this on 0 0.1 or around there, it seems to work pretty well. Okay, so keep that in mind. And uh, something else I need to mention as well is in the scene, the way I've created it, whatever's closer to the camera is obviously going to be a lot more noticeable. And you can see I've got this tree over here that's a lot further in my scene. And uh, because of that, when I'm controlling the overall distance of my fog, it's basically the first thing that's going to be covered by all of this fog. Uh, it's just going to be a lot more covered by the fog. You can see that's also happening to this deer over here. It's a lot further in the scene than this deer that's in the foreground. So the way you actually place these items in your scene is going to determine which items are going to have a lot more fog visible on them and which ones will be a lot more subtle as well. Now, I also controlled, like you see, when I have a lot of fog in my scene, when it's a lot thicker, I also tend to, on my actual 
uh, power of my HDRI or if you're using the octane tank the power of the Sun or the lighting you can see I've increased the power here and the reason I did that is because I still want some light to try and scatter through my fog volume because I it's, it tends to look pretty nice so you'll see if I actually decrease the power slide over here uh, we're still gonna have some fog in our scene uh, the background still gonna look noticeable maybe you're going for something that's really moody or want, or maybe you want the background to pop out a lot more it's completely up to you guys but you have to play around with these settings until you get something that you are happy with but that, those are the sliders that I'm usually playing around with and another important thing is I've actually got a camera in my scene with some settings on it as well so I've created an octane camera and on my octane camera uh, for my camera imager well for this particular image I'm using the linear response I just decreased my gamma a little bit I'm using the thin lens increase aperture just to create some uh, depth of field and then a post processing uh, I've put a little bit of bloom power on here as well uh, just to make it pop a little bit more and I felt that that looked uh, really nice for this particular image so that's basically how you set it up guys you can do that like I said with an actual HDRI environment or the octane daylight tag as long as you've got access to this medium tag you are good to go all right guys so that was simple right and that's exactly how you set up fog I'd actually love to see your results so you can go ahead and message me on Facebook Travis Davids or find me on Instagram at mr. Davids 2 and as always guys thank you so much for watching my my videos and tutorials I truly appreciate all of the support and all thanks to in life thrills for basically teaching me these techniques I thought it would be cool to share this knowledge on YouTube as well so other people can get some fog in their scenes because I think atmospheric fog looks really really awesome it creates a really moody image and yeah have fun with the fog volume guys and as always like I mentioned thank you for watching my videos stay tuned for some more videos tutorials and goodbye